Brandon Chapin here, brandonchapin.net, crossfitreaction.com. Here we are on the eve of the 2012 Garage Games. Uh, I guess the, the original Garage Game. So this is in the third year of its infancy. This year, CrossFit Reaction, we're having, sending three teams down. Uh, some of us that were taking this a little more serious, decided to get a hotel, kind of focus, sequester ourselves. Uh, similar to most professional athletes um, in, in a multitude of sports, we are in the hotel. Gonna go. To, we're about ready to head out to the <laughs> post or pre uh, workout meal. Uh, we're gonna check in with a few of the athletes and see kind of what they think um, about this what they're thinking about before the big game, before the big competition, kind of where their head's at, give you guys some pointers for you guys that aren't here this year to kind of some things to think about in the future, in the upcoming weeks, months uh, of your training. So here we are. <laughs> guys, what do you think? Uh, what are you thinking about right now? Just mere hours, less than 12 hours away from the biggest moment in your CrossFit careers. Do you want to go first? Or you want to go first? Uh, well, Team Sexual Chocolate. First of all, I'm excited that uh, I've got the team I got because I think I got a squad. Got Bobby Joe, Tanky, Brandon Chapin, the Todd Ford. The so, Todd Ford. The Todd Ford. So I think, first of all, I've got a killer squad. I think we're going to do work. Uh, it's going to be very cold tomorrow. And when it's that cold, I think it's mostly a mental game. So right now, I'm just thinking, Good point. be yeah. relentless. Don't stop. Just keep going. And We're can't New Yorkers. Let, can't let that, yeah. yeah. Cold weather's nothing Do you for feel, us, I so. mean, I know that. We got a guy from Maine to New Yorkers. We're built for this. I mean, do you, you know, you, are, you had grew up admiring Brett Favre. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a guy like him, you know, he was great. Everywhere he played, but he was unbeatable in the cold. And that's, that, that's what you feel like, kind of? That's kind of the mentality I'm taking into it. Yeah? You know? The cold's going to break some people. It's not going to break Team Sexual Chocolate. Absolutely. So, <laughs> folks... That's kind of how I feel. I think that's real important that we remember, you know, people think CrossFit's about your friend time. And really, today that's not going to be going down tomorrow. And that bar is going to be cold. And that water is going to be cold. And what you got to remember is it's time to put up or shut up. So there's some wannabes out there, and, and you know who they are, and we're going to find out. Down at regionals, we found out who the wannabes were, and who was, had their, maybe, people counting their reps that didn't know how to count to 12, <laughs> but not tomorrow. And here we go. We're going to check it. Last athlete, not on Team Sexual Chocolate. Did we? What's the official name of the team? Squats and Milk. Right now, I just feel like um, I gotta step up and be a team leader since we don't have much organization right now with my team. Yeah. So. Calling them out. Yep. But it's okay. We're gonna step up to the plate. And we're gonna do well. And uh, just getting ready, just rolling those muscles out, trying oh. to get warmed up. Folks, as you'll see, we're gonna have Chris or Chris and I see this shirt, and we're gonna show you the back of his shirt. See this. Right there, these shirts are jerseys. They're not for sale. They must be earned. And if I think you earn them, then I'll let you buy them for $20 if you're not here this weekend because uh, we're trying to, well, I'm trying to eat, feed, eat myself this weekend. So, yeah, we preferably cash would be best. But uh, keep trending hard. We'll check back in later on this weekend.